Good morning, class. Today we're going to learn about a concept called knowledge mapping. Okay, so um, knowledge mapping is basically when you take something called a concept map and you have a main concept and you try to um, make as many topics support it as possible. So for example, on this chart over here, you have some supporting concepts that are really closely related to the main idea we have going on. And sometimes these supporting concepts can also have things that are related to the main thing that we are focusing on. But for our purposes in class today, we're going to we are going to focus on something to do with music, which is time signature. Now, can anybody name some things that are associated with time signature? Okay, cool, very good. So some things that come into my mind are duple meters. Um, we got tempo. The next one is rhythm. And then a different kind of meter, triple meters. So um, there are also some things that are related to these, like some examples of duple meters or 4-4 four, four time, otherwise known as common time. We've also got 2-4, which is pretty cool. Um, we have 3-4, which is used in waltzes quite a bit of the time. Um, and then also different tempos are used all throughout different kinds of music. So for example, you can have allegro, or you can have a moderato tempo, which is moderate, or andante, which is one of your slower tempos. And then you can also have rhythms, you know, like rest and notes, because both of those take up time. It's really neat. And then some triple meters over here. We won't really talk about this a lot, but 3-8 and then 6-8, which is pretty cool. So um, does anybody have any questions about how knowledge mapping works? All right, great, cool. See you guys later.